Happy October everyone, hope everyone's looking forward to Halloween and staying safe out there. Rancher 2.5 is out, in fact Rancher 2.51 is out, and there's some big changes. I figured we would address them real quick and take a look at what's going on in 2.5 and what they've done. So some of the big things to note right off the bat is the primary UI since 2.0 called Cluster Manager. Go back to it, just take a quick look. The old UI that all of us are used to is now called Cluster Manager. And Cluster Explorer, their experimental UI, has now hit GA. Um, some features are only available in the new Cluster Explorer dashboard. Um, some of the things that you'll find is uh, rancher monitoring, rancher alerts and notifiers, logging, multi-cluster apps, CIS scanning, and Rancher Pipelines and Istio are all now deprecated through the old version and if you go over to the new version they all have new versions available. So if we take a quick look here is the new Cluster Explorer if you haven't seen it it's a pretty big revamp on the UI and just so you know those things that we were all talking about if you come up to the top and come up to Apps and Marketplace you will see that there's your Rancher Backup, there's your Rancher CIS, Rancher Logging, Istio, and all of your monitoring packages. These cannot be enabled at the same time as the ones in the old version of Rancher 2.0. So if you have any of those enabled, you're going to have to disable them first, including all of their resources, turn them off, and then you can come over here and install all of these. We will go into each one of these new features from Rancher in depth in different series just because we can show exactly what has changed with each one and how to set up the new ones. You can deploy all of your Helm and Helm 3 charts from our new Apps and Marketplace screen over here, which is awfully nice. We also have the ability to view logs and interact with the shell in a new IDE like viewers. Let's go flip over and take a look at that real quick. If we click over to pods and take a look at the new execute shell screen down here in an IDE and you can actually clear it. Looks pretty slick now. Let's take a look at some logs. can download them, we can clear them. Pretty nice. Close each one of the windows out. It looks pretty good. Once you have all of your monitoring and alerting and everything installed, you can see it through the monitoring tab over here. I don't have anything actually installed yet. And we'll take a look at all of these in a future video. You can look here at the continuous delivery. This is all now built by Fleet, is what Rancher is calling it. It's a built-in deployment tool powered by Rancher's Fleet project. We can basically leverage this tool to deliver applications and configurations from a Git resource repository. So this replaces the old Jenkins types pipelines that were in the previous version and this works off of full GitOps. We'll go into this in more depth later on. Another big thing to note is Istio 1.7 is now available to you. Over Istio 1.5 in the previous versions. Basically just uh, making the installation process a, a lot better and better integrated with Rancher in here. Um, next thing to know is Rancher Backup is now capable of backing up any cluster and does not need access to etcd anymore. So that is huge and you can just back up any cluster that's needed. Another big thing that they're hyping on is their enhanced EKS lifecycle management, which is basically means that they can attach to any of the existing EKS clusters provisioned by pretty much anything else and handle the full life cycle of it. 
pretty neat and we'll look into that in a future video also. If we click back over to the Cluster Explorer window, we can kind of take a look off to the side that the cluster now shows us the namespaces, the nodes, the different cron jobs or daemon sets that you have running or the different deployments that you might have running along with any of your service discovery, ingresses, persistent volumes, config maps, all of your RBAC control is down here and you can keep on going. Up here if you're running multiple clusters you can flip through them just like this and get shell access as you need it. Alright, there's a very quick overview of Rancher 2.5.1. I encourage all of you guys to go out and check it out. There's a lot more to it than just what I mentioned. This was just a quick overview of some of the changes. Alright, I hope everyone has a great day, and see you guys later.